there are a lot of similarities between driving a motorhome and driving a car. However, there are a lot of differences as well, such as your dash layout. Yes, you have a speedometer and a gas gauge and so forth, but you also have fans and map lights and sunshades. So let's go inside and I'm going to show you where all the switches are and how to operate them. A nice, easy to navigate layout here. At the top of the center stack sits your entertainment and display for your rear view and side view cameras. There are five buttons below that, starting on the left. This raises and lowers the sunshade. This turns your overhead cabin lights on and off. You can fire up your generator with the Gen Start button. The next two, driver and passenger fan. These control your dash fans. Press up for high speed, down for low. Below that bank of switches sits your climate control functions. On the left is your fan speed. Temp control is in the middle with vent selection on the right. The snowflake turns the air conditioning on and off and the arrows are for recirculating the cabin air. At the bottom are three outlets. On the left and right are 12 volt outlets. In the middle is a USB port and an HDMI port so you can mirror your smartphone on the display screen. When sitting in the driver's seat, you'll see these three switches to your right labeled Reset, Setup and Info. These display important info in the middle of your dash. This is your odometer, trip meter and outside temp. It also displays how many miles you have left in the tank and how many hours are on the engine. You can also perform a systems check, giving you readouts of your engine and transmission temp, along with your oil pressure and brake fluid. Looking at the steering wheel, the stalk on the right is your gear selector and the tow haul button for when you're trailering. On the steering wheel itself, cruise control. On and off are to the left, resume, set, accelerate and coast are on the right. Your hazard light switch is found on the top of the steering column. Straightforward gauges on the dash. Top left is your oil pressure with fuel gauge below. Here's your tachometer, your speedometer, flanked by your transmission temp and your coolant temp. The stock on the left side of the wheel is for your wipers, turn signals and bright lights. To the left of that is a bank of switches and knobs featuring your emergency start button and your fog light switch. Below, the knob for headlights and parking lights, along with the dash light dimmer knob. Moving to the driver's side armrest, at the bottom is where you'll find adjustments for your side view mirrors and the heating option. At the top is the panel for your leveling jacks. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.